Toyota Pace car is in. Here they come to the flag. The Advent Health 400 is underway. Already a great push from the back of Kyle Larson. Who will lead lap one from the outside? Bell at the line. So 29 cars on the lead lap uh, with Kraus pinning several one lap down, at least until he makes his stop. Look at that. There side we go again go. in front of him. Going to cross over. What a battle. Oh, Man. shuts him off. And that's what you, you have to you have to be aggressive right there and taking that position. We saw it with Larson moving up the racetrack. You see uh, Ross Chastain take that uh, take that position right back from Kyle Larson. Don't think that's not real. There he goes again. That's about the third fourth lap in a row. Well in this lap you see Denny Hamlin run the middle lane. He tried the very bottom the last lap. Uh, side by side cars make that really difficult for Ross. You see Denny get or uh, Kyle get loose right there. Yeah, that big wiggle out of Kyle. It shows you his tires are wearing out much like last year. Kyle wears that right rear out much like this last run. He already said hard on the right rear. Here comes Denny Hamlin, which we know he's good at managing his tires. That's his strong suit. Long runs and away it goes to the lead 11. All right, two to go. You saw Elliot McDowell there uh, battling for that last stage point. Tenth place. Two to go in stage one. Last lap of stage one. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> going to give him one more shot on the bottom. Not going to do it. Well, the one thing that we have learned is Denny Hamlin is going to win the first stage here. The right rear tires are going to be an issue. We see all these cars sliding around. Be some adjustments coming for sure. We go green. He's the spotter for Austin Hill. <laughs> we are back to green for stage two. It was my spotter for many years. Look at the inside. Big block out of Chastain. Ty Gibbs looking way up top as Bell and Chastain battle for the lead. Well, we just talked about the end of that run in Christopher Bell's car and how good it was, and if they could make it any better. Uh, at the beginning of this run and you see him right here. Oh man. Both of them have to check up and look who is got well, four wide. Here we go. Five wide. Whoa. You saw Ross Chastain go up the racetrack and those cars get almost locked together and now they're five wide going down the front straightaway. That's cool. Want to see it again. I do. It tells you how big it was. Ty Gibbs thought they were going to wreck. Do you hear how big he lifted up out of the gas? Yeah, trying to was, figure out if they were going to shoot up and, and be in the wall and right in his lap. He had a head of steam that was so big <laughs> that he had to let all the way out of the gas. And he came out of it pretty well. He is third now behind Larson and Busher. 23 11 has stayed out. Uh -oh. Reddick and Trouble. Wallace. Up. Trouble. Kyle Larson left front. Oh, no. That'll cost him the lead, won't it? Yeah, you saw the front tire changer going back and forth on that left front lug. Uh, Chris Buescher has done a great job in this stage. Last lap coming down the back straightaway. Best news for Hamlin is he will not have to worry about Austin Hill in the pit stall in front of him. Hill is now one lap down. Hey, for the last st stage point, here comes Chase Elliott and Christopher Bell trying to get into that battle as Chris Buescher crosses the line with the stage win. Look at this guys, a five beat him out, but the 11 had trouble again. Ryan Priest, the 41 was coming in, blocked him, couldn't find his stall, stalled the 11 out and gets held up again, guys. And my, my, my goodness. All right, so Hamlin coming out. Now Priest's stall is further down. He's trying not to be in the way. And that's hard to do. Double trouble for Chris Buescher. Uh, there is that windshield tear off. And look here where the tire changer and tire carrier are over the wall too soon.
<sighs> that will send Busher to the tail end of the line. Today's Trouble practice. turn two. And down goes Jimmy Johnson. Two cars still up at the wall in a three car pile up in the middle of one and two. There's Austin Hill with damage and it's Corey LaJoy on that outside up against the wall. And that will be the first caution of the day other than the stage breaks and makes a short day for the seven time champion. Looks like he's getting out his day will be done. We'll crank it up on the restart. on the back straightaway. Trouble back straightaway. Bubba Wallace gets turned around by a car bouncing off the wall as they were four wide coming off turn number two. I yeah. think it was that car right there. Austin Sindrick. You said it was, right. it was a car on that outside wall. Clipped Bubba as he went by. Spun him around. Back. Finishing races is so important. You see just wrong place, wrong time. But you get in the middle of the pack like that. Things are going to happen. See Cindric come back down and clip that right rear of Bubba Wallace. You see the right rear wheel flopping around. That toe link broke. Boy, it's in it hard oh. into McDowell. Austin Dillon had a ringside seat. So did Harrison Burton. And Nemechek takes evasive action way down to the track apron. Bush and Larson in front of Gibbs and Truex, Chastain and Reddick, Byron and Bowman. Yeah, Kyle Larson with a much better start that time. Much better push out of the back end of with Ty Gibbs pushing him off into that corner. Here it is, mano a mano. Come off the corner door to door for the lead. See and Kyle Larson chase him down the Kyle Bush down the racetrack to get that side draft, so he's able to check him up down the straightaway. Sun's gone down, tracked back cool, lights are on. It's gonna be okay on Trouble the Trouble around again. goes Lugano. Oh. Unbelievable, guys. On that caution flag, the first six cars down to Michael McDowell stayed on the racetrack, led by Todd Gilliland, McDowell's teammate. Hamlin, Busher, Haley, and Wallace, along with McDowell, did not pit. So Kyle Busch in the number eight will be the first car on new tires when we restart. Gilliland, Hamlin, Busher, Haley, Wallace, McDowell, all on older tires. Here we go. Whoa, that was so close. Kyle Busch got in the wall a little bit. LaJoy moved up the racetrack. He had to make an adjustment there, Kevin. I think he brushed it, but I, he didn't hit it hard enough to affect that car. Look at this four wide off of four. Here comes Truex on the outside. Well, you just have so many different strategies right here. You got cars on four tires. You got cars on no tires. Guys checking up. Kyle Larson, he's kind of pinned down on the bottom of the racetrack right now. Yeah, and Chris Pusher right now needs to do all he can to, to clear Denny Hamlin. I think that, he is. Not that he isn't, but I it looks he like is, he is Kevin. clear. Yes. All the way back through 10th, there's nobody single file. And now the there is. The reason I say that about Denny Hamlin is we know his car is going to get better and better compared to the field the longer that he runs. And you see Busher fight back on the outside right there. Denny was just a bumper cover distance from being clear right there. I think Denny has a lot of confidence in the speed, the long run speed of his race car. He was. Pretty easy on Busher passing him for the lead, kind of let him go and drove right back to him here. I think he knows he gets his car up front on the long run. That's his strong suit. Busher with pace on the outside. 
Uh, but Hamlin gets a good launch off the bottom of turn two. Still door to door. Drove it down way deep into the corner. He's going to slide up in front of him here, try to take that lead away. Obviously going to try to cross over on Busher. No prevail. Denny Hamlin to the lead. It's going to be a half a second by the time we get. Oh, oh. Kyle Busch. Well, that's going to take care of all that conversation. <laughs> Just trying to get it back roll here for the leader. Gets there. Leader is turn four. Kyle was fifth when he went around. Wow. Well, so, so much for all that. <laughs> all right, here comes Hamlin down to the end of the pit road. And this time gets away clean and gets out first. Up Busher. He ain't out of it yet. Keep an eye on that 17. He's hungry. That was a really fast two tire stop for Hamlin's guys. Here we go. It's a big jump on that outside. Great restart. Great jump. Here comes Larson to the inside. Three wide to Denny. Momentum on the outside. Busher to the lead. Larson right with him, but Busher with the launch off turn two. Elliott way on the outside. He's got it so far. The blocking is going to happen. Here it comes. Comes Denny to the, or excuse me, Truex to the inside. Look at the big block by Busher. Pushes Larson up the racetrack. Three wide behind them. Three wide, four different places coming to the back. White flag under green. Busher, Larson trying to close. Truex trying to get up to the leader. Well, How Kyle did he Larson, make the block, Kevin? Kyle Larson is going to get there one more time. You see Chris Busher back down on the bottom of the racetrack. Kyle Larson's going to have one more shot at it, and it's going to become a cat and mouse game as you get into turn three. Which direction to go? Where do you go? Larson up top, all the way up top. Busher. He's on the outside. The He's in position. He's got it. And here comes Truex. They're going to close right to the two leaders. Coming to the line. Crash together. I believe Busher. I wow. think you're right. It's so close. This is going to be a huge win for Busher. They're excited. I think it's him, Kevin. That was incredible. <laughs> Corey Heim gets spun just past the checkered flag with, yeah. uh, I think, Austin Dillon. Oh, yeah. It, let's look Good at work. it. I don't. It well, may be the five. Hold on. Well, let's have a look at the video. Uh oh, boy. Busher is ahead. Larson is coming. It's like the Kentucky Derby. Oh, it's my that wow. close. It's Larson. Holy <laughs> cow. <laughs> what a finish, boys. Can you no, believe no, it? I yes. cannot. I can. But what a question. Oh, man. I hate it for Chris Busher.